Have you been scouring YouTube for a Cricut engraving tutorial that is for Christmas that's an ornament, but cheap, and also really, really cool and unusual? Um, I've got what you want right here. My name is Jen Swift at WellCraftedStudio.com, and we're using aluminum flashing, which is really super inexpensive, to create these cute snow globe ornaments. I'm also going to be showing you guys how to personalize them using print and cut to make stickers out of printable vinyl, and then how to go ahead and get this cool effect. So, yep, Christmas ornaments, here we come. Okay, so in order to get that free snow globe design, what you're going to want to do is go to wellcraftasu.com, which is my blog, and you guys can find a link to that in the show notes for this episode. And then if you go right here up at the top, it'll say free library. And when you click that link, that's going to take you to my resource library page. And that is a password protected page. So if you're new to Wellcraft Studio, you'll see a little uh, rectangle that says put in the password. And to get that password, all you have to do is sign up um, on the side here. There's a want freebies and you just go ahead and subscribe there. Um, when you subscribe, you'll get the password. And then, you know, you guys want to come and grab what you want and unsubscribe. That's totally fine. Um, I do send out freebies and emails though. So, okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to page all the way down past the SVG cut files and stickers and la 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 deck decals. And towards the bottom here, you're going to, going to see the metal, leather and sewing templates and designs. And then right away the engraving designs. Now about halfway through this list, you're going to find the engraved snow globe photo ornaments. And that's what we're going today. So just go ahead and click on that and that will download to your computer files and you can upload them into Cricut Design Space. This next project is an engraved photo frame again, but it's going to be shaped like a snow globe. And so we follow a lot of the same steps as we just went through. And because of that, I'm not going to repeat all of them, but there are a couple variations that I wanted to show you. So we're going to start with the same engraving design. Well, the snow globe instead though, but an engraving design. And we're going to go ahead and size it to about five inches. Now you can go ahead and change, you know, to whatever size you want, if you'd like smaller ornaments or larger ornaments, but I thought this was a good size to kind of work with. So I went ahead and I uploaded my photo and sized it so it fits in the frame. And then I went and grabbed a shape from the shape menu and then made a circle so it was about the same size as the interior there. And now I know that I'm going to want to take my photograph and create a circle out of it. And then I'm also going to want to do a kind of a photo frame like I did last time with the outline around it. So what I'm going to do is going to take that circle that I've got sized and I'm going to duplicate it twice. I'm going to throw two of those over there. And then this one that's on top, I'm going to turn this to draw so I can kind of see that it, it is sized just the way that I want. And it is. And so we're going to go and we're going to take the photograph, click on that, and then we're going to click on the draw circle. And so because we have just the two things selected, we can go down here now and slice. And there we have our photograph. We can get rid of what we don't need. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and make that outline like I did last time and place it over here. And then I will show you the next step. So in step one, we went ahead and prepped our photograph and shaped it and then printed it. And now step two is the engraving. So we're going to go ahead and hide the photograph because we don't need it. And now we have our design. Now it does say engraving up here, which we need. And now we're going to do a little trick that I like that actually gives us a deeper engraving. So we're going to do duplicate. I'm going to duplicate it once because that's what works the best, but you can duplicate it several times. Um, when I do my servers, I do it like three times. So this works really well. So I'm going to go ahead and select both of those and then go up to the top toolbar and do align center. And then down at the bottom, do attach. So now those are perfectly stacked on top of each other and we're ready to make it. Okay, everything's ready to go. I'm going to choose stainless steel and I'm going to change the default to more. Everything's set. 
and I'm gonna load my mat. Step three is to cut out your shape. I'm using a jeweler's shears, and what's nice about these is the metal kind of peels differently. So if you ever try to cut a tin can, it's um you, you get your hand in there, it kind of gets stuck, and you feel like you're gonna cut yourself. So this is really nice in that it just kind of bends the metal away. You take little tiny cuts and just work your way around. If there is a sharp spot, you can go ahead and kind of cut an angle and cut it out. Okay, so I finished trimming around it, and I kind of just got a little closer each time so I could really get true to the shape. And now what I'm going to do is just, if there's any spots where it's kind of bent a little bit, like twisted the metal, I'm just going to take that flat nose, nose pliers and just kind of gently flatten those areas again. And this is just one of those little steps that you can do that actually gives it a real, like a lot more professional look when you're finished. Step four is to assemble our ornament. I'm just going to position this on here. I don't want it right up at the top. I do want it kind of in the middle. And then because we had that, we, we want it to have that look of it's being in the snow globe instead of just, you know, a circle stuck in the middle of it. We're going to go ahead and take a craft knife and I'm just going to slice along that bottom. Like so. Step five is optional. We're looking pretty good already, but I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of the glitter Mod Podge, Mod Podge, to my edges. And then I have some snowflakes that I cut. And actually the files for these are free in my creative resource library on my blog. I drew the snowflakes in Procreate and I have a video on how to do that as well. But let's go ahead and just add a couple to And then we could go ahead and put little crystals in the middle of those two if we'd like. And I'll do a little bit of dab of the, the glitter there too. All right, and I've got one finished for you to look at. So you can see how nicely that looks. And actually with this one I did, I engraved two different ones. One was in the gold paint and one was in the silver. And then I cut out the base and put it on top. There you go. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial for making the engraved snow globe ornaments. It's actually one of my most popular uh, tutorials over at wellcraftedstudio.com, so I'd love to have you come over there, check it out, and then grab the free designs as well. And then if you liked and you're looking for more Christmas engraving um, ornament ideas, I do have this shadow box video as well. And that shows you like a little bit more construction, and I think it's kind of a more of a, you can go with the holly glam, or you can go ahead and make it a little more simple too, but I think it's a really fun option. And it'll teach you a lot. And then I also have these cute little mason jar ornaments out of the uh, painted metal caps. So they're little, little canning jars. I think they're adorable too. So I want you guys to check those out as well. And thank you for watching. And please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos.